Alright guys, so, uh, apparently my window size was too small when I'm, I'm trying this new, well it's not new, but it's new to me, the record straight from a webcam right up to YouTube on YouTube, and I, it said ready for record on the screen, and I clicked it, and then at the end of the video I realized I can't get down to the stop button to stop it, so I wasted the entire eight minutes or something like that and wasted opening the packages that I got today I got five of them but that means this video should be shorter depending how long this rant continues on um, anyway as I said in the video well the last video the deleted video um, I've been gone for three or four months from YouTube um, the explanation for that is uh, Eric Ainge, my personal collection guy, uh, retired from football. He was dealing with some pretty serious drug addiction. He's sober now. He's retired from football. He's done with it. Um, and so I kind of lost my fire for the hobby. A, because uh, it, it was just kind of a hard story. Um... I mean, it, I'm not, I don't collect him because he was a drug addict at all, so I, no one really knew about it except for apparently the people in Tennessee uh, and the people at the Jets. Um, I'm proud that he was able to overcome it. Uh, makes me happy that I have a collection of a guy with a, ultimately with a strong will. Um, obviously not in the short term, but hopefully in the long term. Anyway, uh, that and just not had much fire they're not making much more stuff that I need I've got like 75 76 77 percent of the stuff that he has printed that's not one of one so there's just not a whole lot out there on the market um, I think I got one card of his in the other day that I needed but I don't even know where it's at at this current time let's see it might be right here and it might not be Uh, it is. Uh, I've been talking to this guy on Sports Card Forum for a while about getting it. I got out of the hobby. Um, and got back into it, talked him down on it. Um, it's what I've been looking for for a long time. And it's number 10 of 10, which is his college jersey. It's a Donruss Elite status card. Red status, it's sweet. Um, so I've got that entire set now. I need. I don't know if they made an autograph version of that. I don't no idea. Uh, and the black one of ones. But other than that, I've got that entire set. Anyway, leads me into the story of my new guy I'm collecting. This guy's got a huge upside. Um, is sitting behind Peyton Hillis right now. He went to Tennessee. He didn't get his fair shot at Tennessee. So, uh, I think he's still, like, fourth on UT's rushing list. No, I'll take it back. He's, like, top ten. But he only played for a year and a half um, anyway I'm only collecting autos and really nice patches of this guy by really nice patches um, I mean this is the only patch I own of his it's a jumbo uh, gridiron gear jersey number one of ten so when I say nice that's what I mean by nice I mean something that's not ordinary um, so basically I'm going to take you through what all I had before my mail day today and then show you everything I got after the mail, got in the mail day today. So, stuff I had before Classics Auto. Um, I'm surprised I was able to amass this. It's kind of a nice collection um, in about three weeks, really. Uh, Finest Moments Auto. I'm going to try to speed this up some. Sweet Spot Helmet Auto. Uh, if you have the black or orange one, let me know. I'll get it from you somehow. Tops Chrome Auto. Uh, what's that other one? Bowman Sterling Jersey Auto. Not numbered. Bowman Sterling Rookie Auto Refractor. Number 50. 
It's a sweet card. Um, finest dual jersey auto. Refractor, number to 75. Finest patch auto. Sweet patch. It's really... And I guess the word is solid. It just looks... It's a good, thick piece of stitching. It's got a nice corner to it. Uh, I just, I like it. Number to 400. On card contenders auto. Uh, let's see. Pull out auto. Most of these I'm showing you now. I'm not going to really be looking for doubles on unless they're at an extremely good price like the contenders or the tops chrome. Um, but if you have any hardesty autos, please let me know. I'll try to work something out with you if we can get something done. Epics Field Auto. Uh, Tops Platinum. Yeah. Two color patch auto, number to 500. Um, this one's really nice. Uh, five star. On card auto. Two color patch, number to 90. Um,. And some of these over here I had, but I'm just going to show them all to you when I get to the mail day section, which is after this card. Um, which is currently probably my favorite card I have of his. It's an exquisite two-color patch auto, number to 120. Um, and this is the mail day I had, slash some of the stuff I already had. I put it all, I separated it all out, and I can't remember which ones of these I got in the mail day and which ones I already had. You'll see what I mean in a minute. Uh, we got this for a steal. It was like 16 bucks delivered off a of blowout. Um, three color jumbo limited patch auto. Number to 25. Freaking sweet deal. Um, this one off of eBay. It took the dude a little while to ship it, so I had to go leave appropriate feedback for that. And it's not in a penny sleeve, and it's just kind of jumbling around in there. It was in some sort of top loader or held together by something, but anyway, it's a uh, College Pride Jersey Auto. That's really cool. Um, and I think this is probably my favorite card I got today, just because I've always wanted to have one of these types of cards, but until last year or year before, they really didn't have anything to stop people from faking them. And that's these Topps Rookie Premier Autos. This one's numbered to 90. It's on card. It's a sweet card. It's generally up there with Chrome and Contenders for, you know, just the, the best single on card rookie auto of a player. Um, and then the rest of these are all the same card, but I'll show them all to you anyway. I'm collecting any of these, any of the National Treasures, any of the Rookie Premieres, uh, most of the limited stuff, uh, Chrome, Contenders, 5 Star, stuff like that. Um, some higher end stuff, but I don't, I don't want like, one of one, humongous patch, auto, cut autograph, blood sample cards that are going to cost me $500. You know, I'm more in the $20 range on most of these cards. I like that range. The Exquisite was about $40, $50. Other than that, I haven't paid really over $20 for any of these cards. I've got one SP Authentic, one color. Two SP Authentic, one color. I've got two of those. And then one SP Authentic, two color. Two SP Authentic, two color. And three SP Authentic 2 color. I got three of those today. Um, and I think I've got one or two more coming in, actually. Um, anyway, that's my hardest to collection to date. Um, I'm really big on the SP Authentic patches. I really like these cards. If you know where a, num a, a patch auto number to 25 is, or if you have one that's not on eBay. If you have one that's on eBay, cool, let me know. If you know of the location of one as long as it's not ebay please let me know um if i am able to get it i will hook you up with a finder's fee um if you have it i will do my very best to get it from you i need it for my collection um i'm not really looking to flip this guy so i mean 
I've had some people give me a better deal just because I'm not one of these people on here looking to flip the card as soon as it gets hot. Um, I collected Arian Foster probably probably two months before the draft, and he got cut. I mean, he didn't even get drafted. He went undrafted, and then I kept collecting him. Um, and I, tr I traded. I needed some money for some angels, and I sold him right before, um, right before the season when he got hot. I mean, I had like almost the entire name, the uh, Bowman name plate autos. I had the Prestige, at, uh, black extra points number to ten. I mean, it's stuff that was that would be worth a lot of money right now. Uh, I got rid of those just because I needed them for Ainge. So I'm not looking to flip these. Um, I want I want something to have that has value in my collection, honestly. So if you've got any of these, I would be more than appreciative if you would hook me up with some. Um, I'll do my best to hook you up in return, whether it's selling or trading. I don't like to do a lot of selling or trading on YouTube. So if you, I'm on blowout card forums. I'm on sports card forum and I'm on trading card forum. Um, TCC is my favorite place to talk to people on, but uh, Bob, the owner, uh, has left things kind of in the hands of some other moderators, and it's a lot of work for them. So they're having some time issues getting some applications in. But if you just want to get a quick trade done, uh, hit me up on blowout card forums or sports card forum under the username babybraves05 all one word no spaces that's baby as in cries like a baby and braves as in atlanta braves 05 as in the year 2005 um, hit me up on there we'll try to work something out uh, if you want to go to a great community jump on TCC it might take you a little while to get, a, to get accepted there just to get the application through but it's a great community I love it um, some really great guys on there some excellent collections uh, a very fraternal like environment minus the drinking and sex and women um, anyway hit me up guys hit me with a message on here if you have something and you're wondering if I want it um, also I'm looking for some really 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 thick top loaders like sweet spot thick and also any like uh, chrome thick, the the super thin ones. Um, anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Keep subscribed. Um, I promise I'll be making some more videos. Hopefully, gonna get a group break going up here soon. Maybe get some some uh, 2011 certified stuff going on. Might break some 2010. See if we can pull this boy right here. Um, keep a lookout. Uh, rate, comment, and subscribe, boys. Thanks, y'all.